Pat, your second career All-Star game. What does this one mean to you, and what has it been like so far this weekend? Yeah, it's been good. I uh, just got in a couple hours ago, but I feel like I've been busy ever since. Uh, yeah, it's cool just to, to be here and enjoy this uh, weekend. I feel like, um, you know, last time I didn't have Archie around, so having Archie around here is uh, definitely going to be a little bit different and um, a lot more fun. And your parents here to help with Archie as well, or yeah. how are you celebrating yeah. with them in this, in this weekend? Yeah, uh, just have them around, have them with Archie is uh, awesome. I think uh, my dad didn't get to see last one, so. He's excited to be here and experience this, and uh, it's just a special weekend, yeah. Can you rehash when you found out you made the All-Star team and kind of what your reaction was and maybe what, who you, how you shared that with others? Uh, yeah, I think uh, Steve called me, um, just basically said you've been selected to be an All-Star, and uh, I think that's, that's pretty special for me to have that, uh, you know, call from him and, and um, I mean I think a lot of other guys could have been here as well so um, you know we've got a lot of guys who have had good seasons and uh, you know it's, it's pretty cool that I'm here. You talk about the guys having good seasons as a team your first year in Detroit what's that been like and the success you guys have had what do you attribute some of that to? Yeah it's been a lot of fun I think uh, the guys in the locker room are great uh, you know it's been an easy transition for me and I think um, you know coaches have the details that they want to stick to and uh, I think we've done a pretty good job of that so um, we have a lot of great players that can really make plays out there but um, you know we've done a good job of staying within the system and um, you know winning a couple games. Yeah, Alex has scored a bit in the league obviously but if you put the context to the most of the charge of seven goals what that would be Yeah it's crazy I think um, you know, to see him score pretty much every night is, is, is pretty incredible. Um, you know, you, you watch him every year, um, the way he plays, it's, uh, you know, doesn't seem, uh, you know, so out of the question that he scores 70, which is, is pretty crazy. So, uh, you know, I think it, it's definitely cool to, to watch that and, and uh, you know, kind of observe what, what he does and, and how he scores goals. Yeah, what's the fan support been like this year? I know you, there were some Red Wings fans on the carpet tonight and just throughout the season too and all the messages on social media you get for the All-Star Weekend. What's that been like to kind of embrace in that as well? Yeah, it's been great. I think, uh, you know, the, the crowds have been awesome. Uh, you know, they've been really loud. I think, you know, even having the Lions buzz was, uh, you know, really bringing the whole city together and kind of rallying around a sports team was awesome. And, um, you know, that kind of filtered into our games too. So um, it's definitely cool to see, see uh, fans on the red carpet and uh, you know kind of interact with them it's, it's been awesome. Lions had such a big year this year does it feel like good that these teams are coming around in Detroit you guys are having a better year getting up there and what do you think of that how you guys been doing? Yeah it's awesome I think uh, you know all the guys in the locker room were uh, you know really rooting for them and uh, you know we watched a couple games together in the playoffs and um, you know I think it's just cool for the city to rally around something I think it's uh, you know, been a while for, for the sports teams to really have uh, you know a good chance and I felt like uh, you know that those crowds were, were awesome. It's been being back with you at the game. Yeah it's been awesome. Um, you know I mean obviously you've seen him quite a bit. Uh, all the plays he makes, um, you know, even after his surgery, seems to come back. And his first game back, he was, you know, same old Patrick. So I think uh, it's been definitely cool for me to, to be re reunited with him, and um, it's been fun so far. Has it surprised you at all how he's exactly the same as he was even before the surgery? No, not really. I think a lot of people were doubting him on his comeback, and, um, you know, I kind of knew if there's one guy who can come back from that, it's him. He's uh, definitely a hockey nerd, um, you know, just always thinks about hockey and how he can be better, and, um, you know, I think that's what makes him so good. He's always trying to do new things, and, um, you know, I think he was definitely itching to come back at that point, so he was, he was definitely ready. Is it weird at all wearing Red Wings jerseys together when they're used to wearing a different <laughs> Yeah, for sure. I think uh, it's definitely weird seeing him in that jersey, um, but I think it looks great. It's uh, definitely cool to have him in the jersey and, um, you know, cool to be playing with him every night. You were under entry level deal. Do you have performance bonuses that you were, you know, trying to get to at any point today? Does that ever come up in conversations with coaches and things like that? Um, I didn't have any. I just had games played, so I didn't really have any, uh, you know, that would need the coaches. Uh, <laughs> 
you know, do you see that in, but, guys sometimes like towards the end of a year, kind of like bring it up to a coach and hey, I need this? Uh, no, I haven't really seen that honestly. I think sometimes the coaches will know and they'll, uh, you know, maybe the last game they'll be trying to get it for them. But uh, you know, I haven't really seen any players go up to them. Right, would you rather go first in this draft or last and get whatever they give you? Uh, <laughs> Probably first. Yeah. I, I think uh, you know sitting there for that long would be would be tough, but um, you know I think it's all fun. I think everyone here is, is great players, so um, you know it should be a, a cool experience. I think it's kind of what I grew up watching, so um, it should be fun. When you're a smaller guy and you're standing in front of the net, trying to get a goal, trying to get a recent goal, and you got guys probably checking you in the back, and pucks coming at you the other way. What is it like? <laughs> You know, I think it's just playing hockey. I feel like, um, you know, I've done it for so long, it's just kind of second nature. I think, you know, I'm not always right in front of the net, but, um, you know, when I am, I think just trying to get, you know, a, a, an edge on the, the other guy, I think uh, try not to get pushed out of that. Um, you know, do my best there. Is it scary in there when you first come into the league? Uh, no, I feel like I was a little bit more, uh, you know, frisky, I feel like. Uh, <laughs> earlier in my career and got into um, you know scrums a little bit more so um, you know I wasn't really scared of anyone I think um, you know trying not to be fighting but I'm not really scared scared to fight or, or you know do whatever so. <laughs> sometimes when I get a little angry but um, no usually I'm trying to stay out of the box and uh, you know I like scoring goals better than fighting so I try to do that. You mentioned last year I think you were trying to be more physical when you're in Ottawa I mean, Back to uh, the old style. Um, yeah, I think there's a happy medium. I think um, even when I was in Chicago, I don't think I was um, soft by any means. I think I would try to finish my checks. Um, but I think, yeah, last year taught me to, you know, how to play that little bit more physical style. And I think there's definitely a happy medium. I don't think I need to be going out of my way to crush a guy, but um, you know, if the puck's there and I think they separate the puck um, from the guy, I think that's what you need to do. So I think it's, you know, each year I learn so much new stuff. Obviously I've had a couple different coaches and, um, you know, to learn different things from each guy is awesome. And I think that's, um, you know, every year I try to become a better hockey player. So hopefully that's what's happening. What do you think, Last question for us. Matthew's on base for seven goals. How can he do that? And do you think he will? Uh, yeah, I mean, it seems like he's, he's right there. I think um, if anyone can do it, it's him. I think the way he plays, uh, you know, he's so strong on his stick. He's obviously got a great shot. I don't think all of his goals are necessarily skill goals. He's right in front of the net. You know, he's getting rebound goals. He's getting goals in all different ways. So, um, you know, I think that's uh, what's what's going to get him there. And, um, you know, I feel like he might have a good chance. But, yeah.